Well, I'm now joined by Mr. Naj Igwe from Nest Oil Limited in Nigeria, and he is the legal advisor and company secretary. Uh, and I'm very aware that I'm interviewing a lawyer, but I hope, <laughs> don't need we, to be too careful. I hope that we can both relax. <laughs> you don't need to be too careful. I'm absolutely relaxed. <laughs> Good. Um, so, can you just explain Nest Oil, the company? What would you say are the main achievements of Nest Oil? Thank you very much. Nest Oil started off as a, as a pipeline company about 25 years ago. It's a company that has, over the years, developed so much uh, in terms of uh, its capacity in building pipelines. You have to understand that Nigeria is a place where oil and gas companies were, at that time, 25 years ago, populated mostly by European oil and gas service companies and American. And there was very little room for Nigerian companies because the expertise was minimal. Uh, but over the years, we've been able to, through sheer will and drive, basically, um, um, monitored and uh, empowered by our group managing director, CEO, Dr. Ernest Azizel, who unfortunately is not able to come. He has been the, the motivator of this group, and within that period, we've been able to achieve so much in a pipeline construction. Now, the company is, is, a, is a part of a bigger entity known as the OB Jackson Group mm -hmm. that has evolved for the past uh, 30 years. But next to is the pipeline construction arm. Now, within this period, the companies have expanded um, what I would call exponentially mm -hmm. because uh, we've delved into different kinds of areas, all within the oil and gas value chain. We're into dredging with B&Q dredging. We're into um, exploration and production with Nekonde Energy Limited. We're into civil construction with Hamacop. We're into ship side, uh, with, you know, into dry docking with ship side dry dock. Um, Energy Works is involved in pressure vessel manufacturing and fabrication along those lines. So it's a company that has grown quite a bit in the past 25 years doing different aspects of uh, oil and gas work. That's so, exactly what so, the group is So you are becoming almost a one-stop shop Absolutely. for everything to do Absolutely. with oil and gas in Nigeria. Absolutely, but with expertise in each of these areas. Because these companies are distinct companies doing their own business, but all under the, the group or the banner or group of, uh, of uh, OB, Jackson. OB Jackson Group, yes. Okay. The oil and gas industry is often challenged for its environmental impact. But your company headquarters, Nest Oil Tower, is described as a pioneer green building. What is that? Now, when we decided to build that structure, uh, we had in mind that uh, we were operating in the, in the, in the Nigerian and African environment, and there was also the need to be a leading example. Uh, green building means leadership in engineering, in energy and engineering design. This is a, a system that takes into cognizance the fact that we're taking so much from the environment and we need to leave the environment better than we met it. So uh, we engaged Julius Berger, a, a Nigerian company with German origins, to construct this building for us and bear in mind that we're a local company and we want to lead by example as much as possible. That's what lead certification is all about. But beyond that, our company has, over the years, uh, because of the nat very nature of uh, oil and gas activity, you invariably impact the environment in a very dramatic manner. And uh, so we do a lot of work in the Delta region, which has a very sensitive uh, uh, flora and sauna in, the, in, in that region. So it's important that we, as much as possible, uh, put the environment as much as it was before we, we joined. So when laying pipelines, you have to dig trenches, you have to lay pipes, you have to backfill and restore as much as possible the vegetation that you, you, you met there. We've made this a part and parcel of our uh, pipeline construction because you have to, the environment has to be sustainable over the long term. If we keep destroying it, uh, maybe in a couple of years, we won't have the environment that, that, that we used to know, exactly. the, the, the greenness of the area. And uh, uh, the Niger Delta, where we do a lot of our operations, is particularly very, 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 very sensitive. A lot of mangrove swamp, a lot of swamp areas that require as much as possible to be sustained over the years because these are things that make uh, the environment what it is. If you keep on impacting on it without uh, doing much to restore it as much as possible, you'll be doing a lot of disservice. Of course. Now, you've mentioned the environment. Sub-Saharan Africa 
is a very challenging environment, I suspect, for civil engineering. So what is the project in that environment that you are most proud of? Well, I would mention the NCTL pipeline project. It's a shell project. And you also have the Colo Creek uh, pipeline project, uh, also a shell project. We also have the OB3 project and NMPC project. All these are pipeline projects that involve a lot of uh, excavation, a lot of impact in the environment, a lot of um, engagement of the communities in those areas. Because guess what? These communities, their lives revolve around these uh, areas. So we try to engage them to become part and parcel of us for security reasons and also for the fact that with that, they, are, they, 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 see us, they will see us as their partners in progress. So we engage them to be part of our staff we engage them to do surveillance to provide the, uh, um, security for the pipelines. We, engage, we, we, we try to make an impact on them, uh, provide uh, scholarship uh, mm -hmm. services, uh, provide, um, ensure that in essence, we are able to make sure that by the time we leave there, they would have seen that on our own part, we've, we've built schools, we've built hospitals, We've built um, boreholes to make the societies or these uh, communities feel a bit of our impact before we leave. This is things we're very proud of because that means that these communities speak for you because they've seen you have an impact on them. So the, the, these three major projects I mentioned now so, take a So earlier place you for said us. you make things as they were before, but yeah, it sounds very that, much... That's of restoring yes, the environment. It sounds as if you're making them so much better. Yeah. Very important, because, very important because uh, these are rural communities. Of course. A lot of them don't have basic pipe, bone water, electricity, and things like that. We try to put a lot of these amenities more or less to, to improve their life, their lifestyle, and improve the, the quality of life in these uh, local uh, communities. So we're particularly proud about these projects because as a local Nigerian company, we started off very small, and you now see us doing projects that are gigantic in nature in terms of their impact in the environment, in terms of their cost to, their, to our clients, and in terms of the impact we're able to make in these communities that we deal with almost on a day-to-day -day basis. Wonderful. How do you see Nest Oil's development in the future? It will only be more of what we've already had, because uh, if you look historically from where we started as a very small oil and gas company that has diversified its portfolio to include ship side, to include uh, dry docking, mm -hmm to include uh, pressure vessel manufacturing, to include heavy uh, fabrication, to include aviation, real estate investment and all that. So it can only be more of what we already have now, and, but in a more exponential form. Wonderful. I wish you every success in the future. Thank you very much. And thank you very much indeed for talking to me thank today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.